Hey, thank you so much for hopping on to watch this video and discovering whether wholesaling is actually profitable or not. There's some people out there flipping contracts and real estate and making crazy amounts of money. And then there's a lot of people just spinning their wheels. And uh, I've decided to bring Jerry Norton, my friend who's my in-house expert on the entire flipping game, to join us here to really answer this question of, is it really profitable to flip deals? Is wholesaling real estate profitable? I think for us to really answer this question, we need to define it and understand mm -hmm. the difference between flipping a, a deal that you were the wholesaler on and then also flipping the home that you did a all the work flip. on. That's right. So you look at a fix and flip and the amount of time and money that you get and you look at flipping a contract and the time and money. Let's That's compare right. them. Well, you're exactly right because making money is all in the context of time, energy, and effort, right? I mean, if you make some money but it took a lot of time and a lot of energy and a lot of effort, it's really more about was that worth the time, energy, and effort for the money I made? Jerry, there's a lot of people watching this that if we could show them how to make $100,000 flipping real estate, they'd probably be thrilled. Yeah. Let's actually do an example on fix and flipping, right? Okay. I mean, you're brand new, so you do a deal and, and it takes, let's call it, 90 days. 90 days and you're the one that's either doing the work, maybe laying the tile and doing Demo, some trial, yeah, you know, paint. or you're, you know, you're yeah. gonna be hiring some of it out, but you're there pretty much every day managing the whole process. And let's call it 90 days from the time that you buy it to the time that you sell it. And let's say you make 30 grand. Dude, there's a lot of people watching this area that would say, all day long, I'll do that. Th that's yeah. freaking awesome, right? Yeah. Then you maybe take another couple months, find another deal, mm -hmm. and then you repeat it again. and you know, over the course of the year, let's say you could actually get three flips in. I'm thinking of some friends in my mind that this mm -hmm. is what they do. And on the one hand, it's like, I'm making $100,000 a year and I'm in the game of real estate. But, dot, dot, dot. Well, here's the thing. I mean, when you're out there managing these projects, right, and it's a 90-day rehab, you're meeting contractors, you're making all these decisions all the time, you're running a Home Depot and buying materials, and you're tied to that project because... Let's face it, you don't show up one day, your contractors don't show up, and there's another day, you know? And so it's, this, it's a lot of effort, it's a lot of time, energy, and effort managing that project to take, let's say, 90 days. But like you said, once you're done with that one deal, now you gotta put your hat back on your finding hat, you gotta go find another deal, maybe that takes a couple months, then you're going through that whole process again. So although you could make 100,000 in this situation if you did three deals in a year, first of all, that's not scalable because that's all you can do, Yeah. right? With your time, you're limited it's, in what it, you can do. It, it, you won't believe it, but it actually gets old fast. It gets old real fast, good, trust good, me. Good money, but then it's like, that's yeah. where I got on my, when I got to my 25th property that I was even holding and I'd buy them and I'd have to fix them up and I'd manage that whole thing. Yeah. After 25, I'm like, oh my gosh, shoot me. That's and, how I And was. I'm making crazy good money, but I'm not I, happy. I'm not happy. Yeah, I'm not happy. So, and that's how I was. I was so tied to my projects. I had all these deals going on. It was so stressful and I was like, this is not what I got into this for. Why am I doing this? Yeah, where's the freedom? Yeah, where's the freedom? Where's my time, right? And so when you compare fix and flip with another flipping strategy called wholesaling, it's a whole nother way to look at this business. Now it's actually a part of the game because if you get a really good deal, you could be then the investor that's going to actually fix and flip that. But there's a second option that you have. You find a really good deal and you say, you know what? I could actually take this deal right now, I could pass it on to someone else, get paid a five, seven, ten thousand dollar finder's fee, mm -hmm. and then I can walk on to doing it again. So yeah. just imagine for a moment that, let, let's say that you made five or ten thousand dollars every time you did that, but it only took you maybe five or eight hours of work to get one. Well, in a week, you could, you know, in a month, you could do four, five, six of those, and you could find yourself making 40 or 50 grand in a month. If you get really good at finding, you can do in the same time it takes to manage one rehab in, in like a month or time managing that, you could do four or five deals. And we're talking now three months because you're doing that rehab for three months, right? Think about it, four or five wholesale deals for three months. You pick up the freedom because now it takes a lot less time to make a lot more money and then you get to take your time and actually use it how you want, which is not driving to Home Depot and not, oh. not babysitting contracts. You know what's great about it is your stress level goes way down. Yeah. Because you're turning the deal, you're done, you're on to another deal, none of the headache. Now, I want to be clear about something. We're not saying that 
that flipping and fixing flipping is bad. What we're really saying is that there's a professional way to do that. Like yeah. Jerry has a massive operation on fix and flip. I have a massive operation with my hedge fund that finds these deals and has to get them all fixed up. I actually don't see a lot of my properties. I know you don't even see a no. lot of because that's a good system. But for people getting started, I mean, I didn't do that at first. I know you didn't do that at first either. So it's this transition of, yeah. man, I gotta be all this hands-on or take a different approach. Yeah, one of the things that I learned a long time ago was this idea that, you know, I used to think if you wanted something done right, you have to do it yourself. Mm -hmm. And that wears on on you and you start figuring out how limited you really are. If you, want, scale. To, you, if you yeah. want to be limitless, you have to use leverage. And so I, I developed a new philosophy that said, if you want something done right, don't do it yourself. <laughs> Go find <laughs> somebody who's good at it. Find somebody who's good at it. And you're going to give up margin every time you mm -hmm. do that, but it actually frees up time where you need less time yeah. to do the things that make more money. We're talking about valuing your time and really it can come down to simple math. You make $30,000 over three months flipping a deal and you can actually say, how many hours did I clock? How much money did I make? What's my dollar per hour? I would bet at least three to one or five to one that you will make more money flipping a contract on a good deal than you will actually getting hands on and doing the deal. The only reason, Jerry, why people get hands on and say, I need to actually see this flip through is there can be some scarcity in the mind that says, I won't find another good deal and I'll make more money if I actually just spend way more time and effort on this and one. And you know what it comes down to, honestly? Most people that get really hands-on as their model, their margins are too tight. Like they gotta, they gotta cut corners by, you know, buying the material at Home Depot and I'm gonna do my own demo and I'm gonna swing the hammer or, or paintbrush. And all that time freedom's gone. What I do is I say, you know what? I'm gonna build a little bit bigger you know, margin in my rehab so I can hire a professional that can do the whole thing way faster than I ever could and I don't ever gotta go see the property. Yeah. Different mindset altogether. Yeah. So friends, in, in, in shooting this video today, is wholesaling profitable? Yeah. You get good at it. it, it may end up being a whole lot more profitable than ever running a rehab fix and flip crew. You know, especially some of those deals that turn into fix and flops. <laughs> um, and um, if you wanna know how to get your foot in the door to actually get that game going right now, you don't need to become a realtor. You don't need hundreds of hours of training. Uh, in fact, all you really need is a quick little bit of know-how. And one of the reasons why Jerry's here is he's got a really cool, if you click the link in the description below, he's got a really great system where he's got an online web training. And what he'll do is he'll actually show you um, how to access his online finding system for free. And then he'll show you how, when you find a good deal, how he himself will actually pay you $10,000 for serving it up to him. Hey, and if it's a really good deal, you're welcome to keep it. You can do what you want with it. And you might find some deals that are absolutely worth doing that way. What we're doing here though, is we are empowering you with tools so you can get in the game and get the benefit and the lifestyle and the time freedom that Jerry and I also enjoy with our families.